Right, so today we're going to look at how to set up animals on your outposts um, and also a bit of botany and stuff. So we're jumping straight into this, uh, no messing around. What you need is zoology in the science tree and also botany. I'm not sure about outpost engineering, but I've got that one anyway. I think that's just for modules and stuff, but you definitely require these two here. Um, also, within your research lab, there are also some... Uh, there's a horticulture thing you can research here. Um, uh, domestication, but these just allow you to create um, uh, commercial sort of... That's a lot larger structures and things like that, if you know what I mean. So, they're just a few... Some are prerequisites, some are uh, just dealer's choice kind of thing and then the next part which is uh and not as annoying as i thought from other tutorials but from other tutorials i've seen everyone's just completely scanning the entire um planet they think that they have to you don't you just have to find a, an animal that produces for example uh a plant sorry for example that produces fiber you don't have to scan every single plant in every single biome and it's the same with the animals. You just have to find an animal that produces something that you want. And again, you don't have to scan every single animal. So I, f I have found a planet when I was randomly messing around. And we're just going to go over to it now and I'll show you the setup. Um, so I uh, should be able to fast travel. I don't think I'm over encumbered. Right. Uh, where was I? I was down at this planet here. Uh, which one did I put it on? I put it on uh, Arborium Prime. Uh, I went two, sorry, and it's on this one, number one, Arborium One. Um, see on the left-hand side there. I haven't even scanned the, the entirety of it, and I've managed to set up um, a a working farm. So we'll just jump down and have a look. I believe that's where I was. Yeah, that's it get down there um, I'll show you the quick setup how I've done it and then I'm just gonna delete the entire thing and go through the process so if you don't understand it by just looking at it what I've done I'm gonna delete this entire the entire thing and go through the process um, so let me just get into uh, build mode and zoom out a bit um, so here we have water extractor linked to a liquid storage linked to a greenhouse linked to the animal husbandry location this set up and i've also got a water vapor extractor here because to produce the uh i'm just producing on the left hand side you can see their membrane that it, this facility also requires water along with this facility so i've got two separate things i've got a pump for this one and it's putting stuff into here which is producing the fiber which is going into here and then you get the water from here which is going into here um, and that for this is set up it only required three of the uh, solar generators now when we go onto this control panel here you can select see look it requires scanning for certain things so you know you can get these on the planet but they require some more scanning but we don't have to scan everything because i just want membrane for this example of the tutorial and on the right hand side there you can see it requires fiber and water um, this one, nutrient, for example, things like that. So you're going to have to figure out how you link things up yourself. Um, if you do have to bring things over from other planets, then you just have to do into system links, which I've got in a, another video, which I'll put a link in the description for that, um, setting that up. And in here, you can see it's output. And this is the output box. So it's output in membrane here. Um, over here, similar thing to that. You can select all oh, toxic gas. Vent. Let's get away from that. Um, again here some things I haven't fully scanned but all I want from this is fiber and on the right hand side there it takes water as you can see um, so uh, let's have a look inside oh, I shouldn't have put it it doesn't matter anyway it's a bit too close to that toxic gas thing um, but these are the plants in here growing um, it, it changes when you switch between different things but for example when I was on about um, you don't have to scan everything what you have to do is get one scanned it has to be a hundred percent for example just for the specific plant uh, but you'd have to, don't have to scan every single thing oh that's another thing your animals actually fight with animals in the area um, 
I don't know if them dying affects the amount being produced or not. If they, or if that's just an aesthetic thing, having the actual animals out there that you're making stuff with. Anyway, back to this. Um, so, see, so you've got um, resources, fiber. That's what you're looking for, fiber. And inputs required, water. You don't need a, to find, scan a planet and find an area that has a massive amount of water. You can dump these um, extractors anywhere, really. Um, and it's the same with these animals. For example, here, this when it was out in the wild, as you can see on the right hand side, you know if the animal can make stuff because it has resource there and it says at the bottom, um, outpost production allowed. And that's what we're looking for. So, you got also have to remember if some animals, for example, are in the sky. If you are doing a full scan, you just want it to, because um, you need it for something else, whatever. Some are in the sky, some are in the ocean. Um, so you have to bear that in mind if you just try, if you just want to do a full scan for completion or whatever. Um, bear that in mind. Some, if you're just running around like, where the hell is this animal? Look up to the sky sometimes. Go to the edge of the map near the ocean, as close as you can. Um, so. What else are we going to do? We are going to delete this entire thing and I'm going to do the setup and the links and stuff now uh, for this. So let's do the entire removal here. Right, that's it. Gone. Everything's gone. Dead. 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 So back to our scanner. Outpost. Let's dump one of these down. Boom. Yes. Thank you. Cheers. Okay. Now we're just going to zoom out a bit. And we need some solar rays. Now, we needed three last time, so that's what we're going to do. Three. You might need more, depending on how many water extractors, etc. Uh, you have. How many facilities, you know, you know the deal. Um, we also did have a liquid storage, which I don't know if we do need, but it would be good to have in case you get backed up along the um, supply chain kind of thing. Um, I do like to use things like that, so I'll just dump one of these here. And we had the animal husbandry facility, and now in here, see where right at the start of the video where you could research um, stuff on your uh, in your lab kind of thing. That's where it gives you this extra option here for a larger one. I don't have the resources right now, so for the sake of this, uh, we're just building the smaller one here and greenhouse. I believe you can get more uh, larger greenhouses, etc. Similar to the um, animal husbandry area. I'll dump this one. Uh, yeah, that's fine, I think, there. And we also need our water extractors. Now, I used a water vapor for this one, which seemed to be fine. It seemed to be working okay. So I'm going to do that again, but maybe the... Um, the water extractor produces more, it looks beefier. I'm not entirely sure about that. You'll have to have a mess around with it yourself. So I'll dump that down. Now let's go into our modify menu. You right click on a building. It was tab to get into the modify menu. And then I'm dumping the water into here. And then also into here in case there's a backup. Then the outputs from here is going into here. And also water into here. And now if we go down we the links might get broken when we actually do the proper setup the, the fiber yeah 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 currently building requires water okay get me away from that and i'll just set this one doing what i want it to do quick before we check the links sometimes it breaks the links i don't know why uh and currently being built uh we'll build a membrane we'll do a membrane whatever that's fine uh, let's go back to our build menu. Uh, let's just zoom out a bit. Now, the links, yeah, so we've got something broken here. So it's right click E again to do that. Uh, now, connection, connection, connection. Let's go and have a look if this is producing our fiber properly. Those are the correct plants, yes. There's an animal moving around there. I think he might be trying to come in. Um, oh god, it's quite low gravity on there. Uh, let's run around, see if we're getting anything in here yet. Not yet. Uh, let's just let it do its thing. 
double check on the water. So there's nothing in there. This should be outputting fiber. That's right. And then the fiber should be linking into here. Fiber one out of two. Yeah, that's right. It's very slow. Um, you could obviously speed that along uh, by having larger greenhouses, multiple greenhouses, things like that. We'll just give it a sec to do its thing. I don't know if, yeah, like I was saying, I don't know if the animals, if it's just an aesthetic thing, having them outside alive and stuff, uh, or if it is actually, if they're actually part of the mechanic, you know. Uh, but we'll find out. This is definitely, yeah, it's got water. That's great. Oh, shut up, toxic gas. Now, what do we uh, activate? Uh, two out of three uh, currently being built is that. I'm going to just switch to this, see if it makes a change. Maybe you have to do... Ah, I can hear something making a noise around me now. Uh, maybe it's a bit bugged there. Maybe you just have to switch it over initially to something else. Um, and... Oh, we've got some material coming out there. Okay. Even though I just switched to membrane, maybe that just bugged out there a sec. Uh, so we can see that it's actually working. Yeah, uh, these have popped up. They'll defend your base as well uh, if you're in a bit of a hostile area. But yeah, that's the basic setup and the links there. I'll just go over them again quickly. Zoom out again. Um, aha. When this is what's happened. When changing that process, it's it's now disconnected the links. Um, so you always want to check that when you switch production. So we'll link them up again. Again, it's a right click E and E on the building. And let's go and check this again. Make sure it's getting its proper resources. <laughs> and they're being filled in there. When it gets more fiber, then it will obviously produce something else. And yeah, that's about it for your setup. Uh, as I again, as I said, if you don't have all the required materials on the planet, you can import them from other planets and stuff. I'll put a link in the description for how you do those inter system links. Um, but it's best to try and find a planet that has as many sort of resources in a also just within a tight area is also great. Like for example, here I've got some. I think there's yeah, there's some gold there I just saw uh, below me. I'll just go to outpost mode, zoom out. Um, yeah, I think that's gold there, yeah. Gold, copper. Uh, so that's an extra two bonus resources that I could export from here if I so choose. Um, we'll just zoom back down in. Have a look if this is doing anything else at the moment. Uh, it's just waiting on the fiber now. currently being built fiber water, yeah but we had some outputs there so it is it's definitely working it's just a bit of a slow process um, the fiber in this greenhouse I wonder why that is not being transported across I'm just gonna double check this I'll do a uh, zoom out quick um, oh, oh, pressing too many buttons too many buttons I need to oh, look away from it, that's why. And zoom out. Uh, go to modify mode. Uh, that's going into there. Water's going into there. Fiber is coming out from here. Yeah, it's definitely linking from there. Already connected. Uh, it's going into there. Uh, let's come back around. Maybe it just dumps it in batches. Ah, there we go. It's it's doing it. So maybe it's just mm, it has to reach a certain threshold before dumping the fiber over. Not sure, but it's working. Anyway, that's it for this video today. Like, subscribe, comment, yada yada yada. Subscribing does really help. I'm trying to grow this channel a bit. I've been absent from absent from YouTube for about seven years. Uh, but yeah, that'd be a great help if this video has helped you out. And cheers. I'll uh, see you on the next one.